what is up you guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are all having a wonderful day in today's video I'll be showing you how to create five modded vehicles on latest patch 1.50 in GT5 online for the first vehicle we'll be using is the Kokat Classic and with this Kokat Classic we'll be able to have an invisible back on the back of this vehicle next vehicle we'll be using is the Canis Bodhi which is also known as Trevor's Truck in story mode and with this Trevor's Truck we'll be able to have the Mr. Raspberry Jam Teddy Bear on the front of this vehicle. Next vehicle is the Canis Mesa, also known as the Merryweather Mesa, and with this we'll be able to have no bars and no roll cage on the whole Mesa Jeep itself. Next vehicle is the Karen BJXL, also known as Jimmy's Car, and one of the missions you'll be able to see Michael underneath the blanket in the back. And the next vehicle, which is also the last vehicle that we'll be doing today, is the Albany Buccaneer. With this Buccaneer, we'll be able to have a glitched roof on the top. You will also need a Panto. In this case, I'll be using several Pantos because I wanted to have different colors for each of these vehicles to show you off, guys. And you also can have Benny's wheels and F1 wheels and also North Yankton plates on them. But you also want to make sure they are all to stock. That way, you'll be able to, to use all the body parts and roll cages or whatever I put on throughout this whole video but it doesn't matter what the color and liveries and the wheels that you'll be using you also want to make sure before you start this glitch you want to make sure you're in a free aim lobby for the first glitch we'll be using the Coquette Classic and then you guys want to make sure you want to make your way into an arena workshop and set your spawn location to your bunker. If you spawn, set your spawn location to the arena workshop, the glitch will never work out and you just have to keep on trying until it does. So just set it to the your bunker. Once you set it to your bunker, you want to make your way to the RC Bandito and then you want to stand right in front of it until it says press right on the D-pad to modify your RC Bandito. Then you guys want to go into your settings tab, then you want to go to network, and then you want to hover over connect to internet. You want to double tap to go back to GTA. Once you double tap to go back to GTA, you want to press right on the D-pad to where you get to modify the RC Bandito. Then you want to count for about four seconds and then after you count for four seconds, you want to double tap to go to the connected internet. You want to disconnect the internet, double tap to back to GTA. Once you get back to GTA, you will notice an alert. So right here, we're going to press right on the D-pad to modify the RC Bandito, double tap the PSN button, disconnect our internet, double tap back to GTA. Once we double back to GTA, we're going to get an alert that we got disconnected and then we're going to re-double tap to connect back to the internet. Once we double pack back to the GTA, we're going to be back going into story mode and that's okay, you're still doing the glitch correctly. Once you made it into story mode, you guys just want to hurry up and start an invite only. And again, you guys want to make sure you go into a free aim lobby because later on we'll be joining a friend in a different target mode. So we're here, we're going to an invite only session and we'll spawn right into our bunker. Once we spawn inside of our bunker, you guys just want to make it outside your, your bunker. So we're right back once we made it outside of our bunker. Alright, once you guys made your way outside the bunker, you guys can either drive a vehicle to your arena workshop or you guys just can use the teleportation glitch to teleport from one job outside your arena workshop. You also want to make sure, again, you're in a free aim lobby so way you're able to join a friend in a different target mode. Then you want to set it up by doing the double tap by joining a friend in a community. So right here we're going to go to communities, go to one of your communities you're in, and then double tap on the friend you're going to be joining that way you have it all set up next you guys want to hit the pause menu and then find a job that's near your arena workshop once you found the job near your arena workshop you want to press square to start up the job as soon as you press to start up the job you want to double tap on your PSN button and click the join the friend session as soon as you join the session to the friend in the community you're going to get two alerts you want to accept the first alert right here and then decline the second. 
you do the glitch correctly, you'll get a network error on the top left corner of your screen. That's okay and it's still working okay. Next you want to run inside your arena workshop and then make your way over to the panther that you'll be using to merge all the modifications from the panto over to the coquette classic which is our first vehicle in today's video so right here we're making our way over to the orange panto and the first modifications you guys want to change on top of this panto to get to invisible back on the coquette classic you guys want to make your way over to bodywork and then you guys want to put on the carbon fenders as soon as you put on the carbon fenders you want to back out and then you guys want to go down to where it says roll cage. As soon as you go to roll cage, you guys just want to make your way and select the one option that's called roll cage and chassis upgrade. As soon as you've done that, you guys want to make your way over to roofs and then you guys want to put on the carbon roof and tailgate. As soon as you've done that, you have finally purchased everything on top of this panto and you're able to transfer the modifications over to the Coca Classic. So the first thing you want to do is click sell. And as soon as you click or select sell, you want to click X the first time and then click X to confirm it. After that, you want to double tap on your PSN button again and you want to join that for any different target mode once again. And then you want to, as soon as you get back into GTA, you're going to be able to get two alerts again. You want to accept the first alert and decline the second. If you do the glitch correctly, you'll still be inside the, the vehicle. You want to get out of it. And you make your way over to the Coca Classic and quickly hit the accelerate button by clicking R2. You'll drive outside the arena workshop and all the modifications will go on top of the Inverto Coca Classic and you'll have an invisible back. So right there you go, guys. For the first vehicle with the Coca Classic, we could got you now got the invisible back and there you go that's the first modifications on the first vehicle next you just want to make your way inside of the garage and then just change up something on the car to make sure it's a quick save or to change your outfit real quick so don't forget to do that because if you do that don't do that and you try to leave sessions all your modifications will not stick so right here I'm just changing a few things to make it more modern and all that stuff to make it more cooler. And then we'll be heading over to the second vehicle which is the Canis Bodhi Trevor's truck. So right back once we make it to the next vehicle. Alright, with the second vehicle in today's video, we'll be using Trevor's truck, which is also known as the Canis Bodie. And with this Canis Bodie, we'll be getting Mr. Raspberry Jam, the teddy bear, on the front of his truck. And then you also want to make sure you have another stocked Panto. You want to head over to your RC Bandito, press right on the D-pad to modify it. And as soon as that happens, go to disconnect your internet by double tapping the PSM button. Then you want to double tap back to GTA and accept this alert. Double tap to get back on the internet and then double tap back to GTA to join in story mode. Once you go into story mode, go to another invite only and make sure you're in a free game lobby. Then you want to do the teleportation glitch from your arena to all the way to your arena and you'll make your way into the arena to head over to the panto that you'll be using to merge modifications on to the Candace Bodie. As soon as you made your way over to the panther of your choice, which I'll be using this red one with the F1 wheels, you want to get in it. If you do the glitch correctly, press right on the D-pad and you'll see the interaction menu to modify it on the left. First thing you guys want to do is just go to bumpers and put the extreme aero front bumper on. That's all you guys need to put on for this vehicle. As soon as you've done that, you guys want to make your way down to the cell and it just accept alerts on the sell button. It will not sell this vehicle. It will just make sure the glitch is working. And as soon as you've done that, you 
done all of the cells and select the X for everything. You want to hurry up and double tap on the PSM button. And then you want to join a friend in different target mode. And then you want to accept the first alert and decline the second. So right here we're going down the cell. And you want to accept all the alerts by selling the vehicle. And you'll get a black screen. Just go to join a friend in different target mode. Accept the first alert and decline the second. And then you'll spawn into your car. And then just hit triangle to exit out. And then run over to Trevor's truck to get inside it. And then drive out of the arena workshop. And then you'll notice all the modifications will emerge on top of this vehicle, such as the teddy bear on the front of the truck, and the F1 wheels and the North Yankton plate. So there you go guys, that's how you get the second modded vehicle on Lace Patch 1.50 in GTA 5 Online. Now I'll be working over to the Meriwether Candice Mesa, so we're right back once we move over to the Candice Mesa. vehicle in today's video we'll be using the Canis Mesa also known as the Meriwether Canis Mesa and we'll be getting no roll cage and no bars on this car. You also want to make sure you have another stocked Panto and then head your way over to the RC Bandito. Press right on the d-pad to disconnect your internet and then you want to go back into GTA to accept this alert and then put it back on the internet. Then you load in the story mode and you want to go to invite only and spawn into your bunker and then do the teleportation glitch to go all the way to the arena workshop. Then you want to go all the way to inside your arena workshop and go to a panto of your choice. It can be the same thing, same one all over again, but in this case I'll be doing another panto again. And then you want to head your way over to the panto. And if you do the glitch correctly, press right on the d-pad as soon as possible and you'll get the interaction menu on the left instead of going in the workshop itself. So right here we do the glitch correctly. As soon as you've done that, you guys just want to put on, go to the roofs and go put on the sticker bomb roof. That's all you guys have to do for this to get the the Meriwether Canis Mesa with no bars and no roll cage. As soon as you've done that, you guys want to head down to cell, accept all the alerts, and then join a friend in different target mode. As soon as you join the friend in different target mode, you want to accept the first alert and decline the second. Exit out of the vehicle and then head over to the Canis Mesa and then drive outside the arena workshop and all of your modifications will be merged onto this Jeep. So there you go guys, that's how you get the Meriwether Canis Mesa with no bars and no roll cage on Lace Patch 1.50 GTA 5 Online. Now we'll be moving on to the fourth vehicle which is Karen BJ XL which is also known as Jimmy's car in story mode that has Michael in the back underneath the blanket. So we're right back once we move on to that vehicle.
Alright you guys, what the fourth modded vehicle in today's video will be doing is the Karen BJXL, also known as Jimmy's Car in Story Mode. In Jimmy's Car in Story Mode, in the one mission you see Michael underneath the blanket in the back seat. So that's the modifications we're putting on this vehicle. So you want to make sure you have the Karen B BJXL and you also want to make sure you have a stock B Panto again. Then you want to head over to your RC Bandito, press right on the D-pad and disconnect your internet. And then you want to head into Story Mode. Make sure you have your internet back on and then spawn in your bunker and do the teleportation glitch again all the way to your arena workshop. Then you want to run in your side of your arena workshop and then you want to make sure you make your way over to a panto of your choice once again. Once you make sure you make your way over to the panto which is the yellow one in this case with the Benny's wheels, you want to press around right the d-pad and interaction shows up. Then you want to go to where it says roll cage and put on the roll cage and chassis upgrade. That's the only upgrade we'll need to put on this vehicle. Then you want to go to sell and then just accept all those alerts and then join a friend in a different target mode. As soon as you join a friend in a different target mode, you want to accept the first alert and decline the second. Then you want to head over to the Karen BJ XL and then drive outside of it, the arena workshop, and then you'll see in the back of the car now we finally have Michael underneath the blanket in the back seat of Jimmy's car. And I'll show you a closer look after a few modifications after to save this vehicle to make sure you've done that. So after each time you guys make modifications of the vehicle, again you guys want to make sure you go right to inside of the arena workshop and make sure you make a quick save by changing something on the vehicle or something like that. So we're right back to show you the closer look on the Michael's blanket in the back of Jimmy's car. On lace patch 1.50 and GTA 5 online with this fourth modded vehicle for you guys. Alright you guys, with the last vehicle in today's video of creating modded vehicles, we'll be using Albany Buccaneer to have a glitch roof. With this Albany Buccaneer, you want to make sure it's a Benny's upgrade and make sure it has a stock roof before you start anything. Then you want to head over to your RC Bandito, press right on the D-pad, wait for a few seconds, and then disconnect your internet. As soon as you go back to GTA, accept the first alert, and then reconnect your internet, and then join into story mode. As soon as you go on into the story mode, you want to start up another invite only and make sure you're in a free game lobby once you made it into an invite only. As soon as you made your way into an invite only, you'll spawn inside your bunker. Then you want to do the teleportation glitch as I shown in the beginning of this video and make your way over to the arena workshop. As soon as you made your way into the arena workshop, just make your way over to the panto of your choice. That way you're able to press right on the d-pad. As soon as possible you do the glitch correctly, you're able to get an interaction menu to modify your vehicle as soon as you get inside of it. So we're right back as soon as we get inside this panto. Alright you guys, once you made your way into the arena workshop one last time, you want to make your way to the panto of your choice. And then you want to hurry up and get inside of it and press right on the D-pad. As soon as you press right on the D-pad, if you do the glitch correctly, you'll get the Modify Interaction menu on the left side of your screen. Then you want to head down to Spoilers, and then go to the last one and go to Roof Rack of Crap. This is the only modification you guys will need to put on top of the Panto. Then you want to go to Sell the Vehicle one last time, and you want to hurry up and join a friend in different target mode. As soon as you join a friend in different target mode, accept the first alert, decline the second, and then once that's happened, exit outside the Panto and then go inside your Albany Buccaneer. Then hurry up and drive outside your arena workshop. As soon as you do that, you guys will notice all the modifications from the Panto to the Albany Buccaneer will merge and you guys will have the new modded Albany Buccaneer with the glitch roof on top of it. Now hurry up and get outside the Buccaneer and then go inside your arena workshop to change something up real quick to make sure it does a quick save. So there you go guys, that's how you get 5 modded vehicles on Ace Patch 1.50 and GT5 Online 
work on all consoles. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys need any help, please leave comments down in the description. That way I'm able to help you guys and go back and go into the game with to help you guys. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy this video. Please leave a thumbs up. Please click the bell to turn all notifications on. Please leave a comment if you guys need help. And also keep getting more and more subscribers for me every day. We're almost at 2,000, so it'll be a great pleasure if you guys help me get to 2,000 subscribers. Once we get to 2,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a PC setup, which I use for my editing. And just watching YouTube and also playing games on that. If you guys want to add me on PS4, you guys can add me. My gamer tag will be down in the description. And I love you guys and hope to see you all in the next one. Peace out.